Okay, let's look at how we divide on a number line. And we're going to start with a whole number expression, 8 divided by 4, and we're going to use our number line to do that. The thing about division, it helps sometimes to think about it as a question like this. How many pieces of size blank are in a piece of size blank? In this case, we want to know how many pieces of size 4 here are in a piece of size 8. <clears throat> I chose this because we already know the result of 8 divided by 4. We know it's 2, so we're going to actually look at it on the number line. So first thing is, let's get a piece of size 4. That's what it looks like. We want to know how many of those can we find in a piece that goes all the way down to here. There's 8. So let's count it. There's one, two, three, four. There's one of size four, that's obvious. And the other one, one, two, three, four. There's a piece there. It goes all the way to the end. So I can find one, two pieces of size four inside a piece of size eight. That's pretty straightforward. Let's look at another example where it's not a whole number result. So here we have eight divided by five. How many pieces of size 5 are in a piece of size 8? Again, we're looking at 8 down here. There's our magic endpoint, and we want to figure out how many pieces of size 5. So let's get a piece of size 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's a piece of size 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's one piece of size 5. That's definitely inside. Let's count another one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that goes past the 8. And let's figure out how we account for that. Well, there's one piece here. That's this. And then I have this piece right here. This is not a whole piece of 5. This is... One, two, three out of the piece of size five. So it's actually three fifths of a piece. So eight divided by five is one and three fifths. Now let's look at what it is when we deal with a number being divided by a fractional amount. Here's our example. Number one here. The expression here is three divided by three fifths. Our question is the same. How many pieces of size now three fifths? It's a fractional amount. How many pieces of size three fifths are in a piece of size three? Okay, now many of us have learned the standard algorithm for this, and we're going to look at that when we're finished and see how the two actually support each other. So let's start by finding three fifths. Here's our piece. Here's one, one, two, three, four. This is cut into fifths, so I'm gonna find a piece of size. One, two, three fifths. That is a piece of size three fifths. Now, how many of that piece are in that? There's three down here. So let's figure that out. There's one. One, two, three. There's two. One, two, three. There's three. One, two, three. There's four. One, two, three. It perfectly goes to the end. There are five. One, two, three, four, five pieces fit inside. So, how does this fit with what many of us, uh, students included, in seventh grade know about standard al algorithm? Well, what we have been taught oftentimes is that three divided by three fifths is the same as three times five thirds. Well, why is it five thirds? What does that even mean? Well, there's a couple of things. One is, we could go ahead and multiply this out, and we could say 3 times 5 thirds is 3 times 5 over 
most of us do this, 1 times 3, and that comes out to be 15 thirds, which I can then simplify down to 5. So I already know the answer is 5. So that's one way to look at it. But where is this 15? Well, it's right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 pieces right here. Each piece is 1 third, which is this. That piece is 1 third of the piece we're counting. So that's the 15 thirds. Where is this 5 thirds piece? That's a good question. Well, here's 1. If this is 1 third, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of those in 1, and there are 1, 2, 3, that's where that is, in that expression. So this right here is 5 thirds. This right here is another 5 thirds. This right here is another 5 thirds. And there are 1, 2, 3. That's this expression. The 15 thirds is, this is 1 third, 1 third, 1 third. There are 15 of these pieces, if you count them all as you move along from 1 to 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll do one more example. We won't do quite as much as this one. Let's do one more example. 5 divided by 3 eighths. So our question is, how many pieces of size 3 eighths are in a piece of size 5? So I'm going all the way down here to 5. I want to know how many pieces. Well, let's find 3 eighths. There's 1, 2, 3. This is already cut into eighths for us, which is pretty nice. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's what we're counting in. There's one of them. How many will fit into here? So 1, 2, 3. There's 1. 1, 2, 3. There's 1. Now, I am going to go ahead and draw this line all the way, and I'm going to draw lines every. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this in, and then I'm going to keep counting. So one, two, three, there's a line. One, two, three, there's one. One, two, three, there's one. One, two, three. 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 And then there's this one piece. And this extra little bit right here is that extra. It's not counted. So now what I have is I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And this is one third of a whole piece. Now, if I use the standard algorithm, I would say 5 divided by 3 eighths is the same as 5 times 8 thirds. If I do that arithmetic, that ends up becoming 40 thirds. And there are, in fact, 40 pieces. Each one is thirds. And there's your 40. Eight thirds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One third pieces are in one. And there are five of those. Two, three, four, five. Eight third pieces. So the answer to this is 13 and one third. Good luck.